All right, do you remember this car? That's my uh, Citroen XM estate. And today is the day that Chris, the real Chris from Swansea has come down to collect it. Check it out, look who I found. The real Chris James. Could the real Chris James please stand up and uh, put his hand out and receive the keys for the Citroen XM? So, God, this is so cool. Today's the day. Thank you, Jeff, for assisting me. Today is the day that XM goes to Swansea. Um, it's been a bit of a mission, hasn't it, really? I'm not going to go into all the detail as to why it's been a bit of a mission. Three weeks later. Three weeks, but this is your first drive. Oh, man, it drives amazing. Tell the story of Lloyd. So I just Googled Citroen Specialist and first thing came up is Citroen Specialist Swansea. Yeah. So I rang him and left an answer machine message. Um, he rang me back about 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, a 10 minute conversation later, Brilliant. all I asked him was, can I bring my car in to see you? The guy went on and on about, he's the first person to ever pull a V6 from a Zantia and all this other stuff, or one of these. Uh, couldn't get rid of him. 10 minutes later, told me Proper his life Citroen story. Guy. Yes, so he's either going to be insane, yeah. or he's going to be a really good mechanic, or yeah. both. Um, I had a queue of people messaging me saying, if he doesn't want it, can I have it? Malcolm even tried to buy it back from both me and you, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Which is quite funny. The um, when I rang Malcolm, it's got one word answers from him. They went, hang on, I'll just buy it back off you. This is the first preliminary drive before it then goes on a trailer to go back to Swansea to you, yes. basically. Um, I, but you haven't punched me in the face yet. Nope. Which is good. In fact, solid friends, aren't we? I think so. I think so. Mates, like. Mates. Mates for life. Um, this thing rides really nicely. It's so smooth, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I didn't expect this at all. There you go, guys. Sorry, I chose the XM. It's mine now. I guess there's, there's, there's two apologies there, isn't there? One for choosing the XM, and one for making everybody wait three weeks to find out what you're actually doing with the XM, which is kind of both of our faults, because neither of us have been that arsed. No. <laughs> I've been using it as a shed. You've been going to festivals. So um, this is kind of meant to be, though. And your missus likes it, apparently. Or you named it. And the name is? Francoise. Francoise. With, with, a, with a pronounced S, not a silent S. Because well, it's, it's Welsh. When I told her I'd won a car, she freaked out. I said I'd won, I'd won. And she was there going, what have we won? What have we won? I was like, the lottery? Nah, not the lottery. I've won a car. And she's like, what, brand new Land Rover? Nah, a 1992 Citroen XM. That is the joy of the Jeff Buys Cars giveaway. Blokes sitting in their lounge shouting, I've won, and wives thinking it's a supercar. Yep. So then nope, it's I a 1,500 pound shitter. <laughs> if that. <laughs> no, I showed her both pictures and she said Pablo looked awful. So this is what we went for. Brilliant. I don't know, tokens. I don't even know what they are anymore. I bought five. As I said, I was feeling saucy that weekend. 50 pound. 50 pound car. 50 pound car. Um, which we think is worth significantly more than what I paid for it. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter because it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, she's all yours. Um, he is all yours, Francois. Francois. Francois is going back to um, back to Swansea with apparently a free Jimmy's coffee cola. So whack that in the fridge and uh, enjoy ice cold. People keep thinking that they sponsor me. They don't. I, I just like it, so I, I ply other people with it. Um, cool. That, that, that's really a wrap. There you go. The real Chris, who just received a real car from the real Jeff. That's the other thing. When my friends said I won a car, no, these things aren't real. They're real. They are very much real. I think you're number 12. I think this is the 12th Happy real to be car number 12. that I've really, really, really given. Awesome. The suspension now will yeah. make noises as it settles itself, as it parks. Is that what it which is? Which is funny because I, for the first few times, thought my phone's ringing. That's exactly, that's exactly what it like a like. phone that's vibrating. Nope. Um, cool. I tell you what we should do though, because I haven't done this yet, because I haven't had any help. I will film you as you go up and down. Yeah. All right. I'll jump out and film. You switch the car on and play with your knob and your lever. So that is on the floor. That's on the floor. And that's and that's at the top. Stupidly high. Yeah. Which looks equally as cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. It doesn't, you know, it's not like it's on air ride and it does it quickly, but let's just see. Right then, are you going to the tippy top? You got to sort of push it down and wiggle it. It's going up. It's not the fastest thing in the world, is it? No, but then again, I wouldn't expect that. Exactly. It suits you. Thank you very much. You look cool in it. It kind of looks French anyway. 
You do look a bit French, yeah. Brilliant. That's where he arrived in. That's rather nice, isn't it? Go on then, on the floor. We'll pretend that the exhaust isn't blowing. Don't pay 50 quid for a car and expect everything to be, you know. I love the way it does the front first. Like, it's, it's almost like it's being polite. <laughs> I think it's done. Kill it. You have to duck a bit because I'm not using my tripod. Cheers, Jeff. No nice worries. to meet you. It's a 50 quid car. Pretty damn good if you ask me. She's all yours. Cheers, Jeff. Do you want to um, jump in and drive it off camera or should we just, should we just fade to black? Fade to black. We'll fade to black. Yeah. It's a wrap. Car's gone. Tune in next time for more stuff from me.